There's a cartoon in The New Yorker a while back. This guy sitting on the side of the street with a little tin can, waiting for alms. A little sign that says, Followed my bliss. There's a way in which the cartoon is right, and there's a way in which it's wrong. If you would just follow your bliss without any guidance from outside, it can take you all kinds of places. But the Buddha was sort of person who said, okay, if bliss is really bliss, it has to be harmless and it has to be without any kind of blame. And it has to be solid, because if it changes, then you end up on the side of the road like that. So we are following our bliss in one ways, but we're not doing it just in any old blissful way we like. We realize that there's a discipline that's needed here. And so we submit ourselves to the discipline and the realization that does lead to the heart's true desire, which is a happiness that doesn't change, a happiness that doesn't disappoint. So we are on a path leading to a goal. That point gets obscured many, many times when they say the path is the goal. They're denying the fact that there is a bliss, that there is a happiness that can be totally satisfying. A once and for all kind of thing. Once you've fully attained it, you don't have to do anything more. As the Buddha said, for the arahants, there's nothing more they need to do for the sake of their true happiness, and nothing needs to be added to what they've done. So that's what we're looking for. But to get there requires we take on certain practices, take on certain disciplines, some things we may like to do, other things we may not, not like to do. But we have the wisdom and discernment to talk us ourselves into abandoning some of the things that we'd like to do that would lead down to the back to the, the tin can on the side of the street. And the things we don't like to do, but are going to lead us to a genuine happiness. We're not just animals, we're beings who have a sense of past and future and have a sense of responsibility. So we want to be responsible about our happiness and take the long view. This is what heedfulness is all about, and it's from heedfulness that the path grows. So even though there may be difficulties along the way, we're willing to put up with them and to learn from them and to grow stronger because of them. We want to make sure that we never get discouraged on this path, because it is a path that ultimately does lead to genuine bliss. About the only really healthy bliss that the Buddha recognized at all. And he'd seen a lot of different kinds of blisses. ทางที่จะเป็นทางสุขหรือทางทุกข์นั้นไม่เป็นปัญหาพอนั้นที่เป็นตัวปัญหาต้องเอาพรที่เป็นความสุขอย่างเดียวสิ่งไหนที่จะ